Wow, this book I've been looking for. Yeah, this consists of grammatical structure, so you can learn it well. Are you happy now? Yes, of course. I'm clothed. <laughs> <laughs> Because you have passed your exam well, so I'll give you something. I want to give you a kit. What is it? It's a book. Here you go. Wow, this book I've been looking for. Yeah, this consists of grammatical structure, so it will be... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jangan lupa di like, comment, and subscribe, dan klik tombol lonceng di sini. Belajar Bahasa Inggris hanya di LC. LC makes everyone speak. Hi LCers, welcome back to our channel Kampung Inggris LC with me Miss Ervi and Ali Vika. Di video kali ini kita akan belajar idiom dari kata weather, cuaca. Mau tahu seperti apa? Langsung aja ini dia videonya. Hey, I've been looking for you for these days. Why are you looking for me? I need your help, like you always need me and I always be there. Oh, I can't. I have my own job. No, you need to help me. I'm sorry. You know that you are such a fair weather friend. What? A fair weather friend? A fair weather friend. Istilah satu ini itu artinya teman yang datang kalau ada butuhnya aja. Katakanlah a fair weather friend. Seseorang yang datang kalau ada butuhnya aja. You know that I met John yesterday. And then why? John was cheating with the other girlfriend. You know that John has a couple, right? Yes, I know. So what will you do? I want to tell the girlfriend that John was cheating. Don't do that. Why? It's okay. Don't rain on somebody's parade. Somebody's parade? Don't rain on somebody's parade. Artinya, jangan merusak kebahagiaan orang lain. So, gunakan idiom Don't rain on somebody's parade yang berarti jangan merusak kebahagiaan orang lain. Hey, long time no see you. Then why? What's wrong? What you need? Oh my god, why are you so weird? Yesterday we met and you were so kind. It's none of your business. Oh my god, you blow hot and cold. What? Blow hot and cold? Nah, to blow hot and cold. Artinya seseorang yang perilakunya tuh berubah-ubah gitu loh. Jadi kalian bisa mengucapkan to blow hot and cold untuk seseorang yang perilakunya berubah-ubah. Hey! Hi! Congratulations! For what? I heard that you passed your exam. Oh, thank you. Uh, how was the exam? I'll pass it well. Okay, and I heard that you're gonna teach soon. I don't think so. It's still up in the air. Still up in the air? Mm-hmm. Nah, idiom selanjutnya adalah up in the air. Artinya untuk sesuatu yang masih nggak jelas. Okay? Up in the air. Sesuatu yang nggak jelas. Because you have passed your exam well, so I'll give you something. What is it? I give you a book. Here you go. Wow, this book I've been looking for. Yeah, this book is consists of grammatical structure, so it can improve your skill better. Are you happy now? Yes, of course. I'm on a cloud nine. Next idiom, be on cloud nine. Artinya bahagia banget. Jadi be di sini ini mengacu pada subjeknya. Kalau subjeknya I berarti I am on cloud nine. Kalau subjeknya you berarti menjadi you are on cloud nine. Seperti itu ya. Nah, Elsiers itulah tadi ya pelajaran kita mengenai idiom about weather. Jadi praktekkanlah idiom tadi biar bahasa Inggris kalian makin keren. See you in the next video dan kalau mau belajar bahasa Inggris hanya di Kampung Inggris Elsie.